Do you remember the mornings of clinking glass bottles as the milkman set them down in the milk box near the front door? Home milk delivery from local dairies was a mainstay for many families back in the day. Milk delivery in the United States began with industrialization. People moved to urban areas and had no space for the family cow. To satisfy their need for milk, they began to buy milk from local dairy farmers ready for delivery. In the beginning, the milkman would come door to door with a metal barrel full of milk. People would bring out whatever containers they had and the milkman would fill it up. Eventually, glass bottles were invented. Milk was sold in glass bottles for the first time in 1879. The Lester Milk Jar was the first glass milk bottle invented. Henry D. Thatcher invented a different glass milk bottle design and was the first to include a cap. Soon, more people began to create their own versions, and by the 1920s, designs and advertisements were etched on the glass. The glass bottles made it easier for milkmen to make their deliveries and for the dairy farms to keep track of how much their customers were paying for. In the 1920s, homes didn't have refrigeration and milk was perishable. Delivering it daily was the safest and most cost-effective way to get milk and it ensured the milk wouldn't spoil. By the 1930s and 40s, almost every home had a refrigerator, which meant that people didn't need milk delivered as often because they could now keep it cold on their own. This caused the first decline in milk delivery. The emergence of the supermarket as a one-stop shop meant it was just as convenient to buy milk at the store as having it delivered, and the increase in car ownership after World War II meant that getting to the grocery store was now easier than ever, further reducing the need for daily deliveries. After World War II, people also began to move into more suburban areas, which made it more difficult for milkmen to deliver milk efficiently. Milkmen therefore had longer distances to travel, and in turn, this meant higher costs. This caused more people to just grab their milk while at the grocery store.
The convenience and cost factor also meant that glass milk bottles were eventually replaced by plastic containers and paper cartons. By the 1950s, almost all milk in the United States was packaged this way. As it became easier and cheaper to buy milk at the grocery store, and as processes such as pasteurization were developed to extend milk's shelf life, we can see how the milkman began to fade into the past. During the 1920s, virtually all milk consumed in the United States was delivered directly to the home. By the early 1970s, it was only about 15%. By the 1990s, it was less than 1%. 